Hello and welcome to Tree Walker Talks, episode 75, Biscuits and Gravy. Alright, let's get started right off with the homestead update. Um, hopefully this isn't too loud. It looks like it's peaking pretty good there. I think I got it under, under control. Mike's in a different spot for today, so let's start off with the homestead update. So what did we get done this weekend? I did get a two-day weekend, but it was Easter, so one of those days was kind of family day, right? Um, so I went out and worked Saturday in the old goat barn, and I still see I'm peeking a little bit. We'll just normalize that out, hopefully. Um, got in the old goat barn, which is going to be rabbit slash brooder barn, and got the 12 volt lights all wired up. So we've got lights in there. So let's say I come home from work during the week and I've got a little bit of energy and I want to go out there and work. I can do it. I can go out there and work. So that's great. Um, and I went with the 12 volt system because now I can actually switch over just by cutting the wires and wiring it in to the solar system once it's up and running because I'm desperately trying to get everything out there so that we're not tied to the grid at all. So if anything happens, it'll all still run flawlessly. The biggest thing is if I could get um, water heaters for like the rabbits and stuff off of solar, we'll see. I probably have to add. Right now, I just have, uh, I think I have two, maybe I just have one 100 watt system. I bought this years ago and it's sitting in a box. Just haven't got it done. Um, it might just be 100 watt, but the system will take 400 watt. So if I have to, I can add up to three more 100 watt panels or take it out and put two 200 watt panels on that sort. We're going to do controller. Um, so I did get that all wired up. The lights were on. The, I did get the brooder set up out there. We do have silkies that will come off the turner Wednesday. And so I think that means they should be hatching this weekend. But we did have some hens sitting on them, so they might actually hatch a little bit sooner. So we'll see. Um, got all outside all the automatic waters up and running. So we've got two different chicken coops that have the waters running. Um, one of them is leaking. The silky one is leaking. But I'm not going to fix that because they're about to move to the old pen where the ducks were. So that I can fix the new pen, which I'm planning to put the layers in. And get that water system set up, and then I can just revamp the old water system that's in the layers right now. And probably take the wall down, we'll see, and keep the silkies in there. Um, the sausage I made, I did make it into patties, get it into sous vide so it's cooked. Uh, I still have to reopen the packages, can I get the grease off, and then I'll reseal them so they're vacuum sealed good. And then throw them in the freezer, ready to go. Just gotta heat them up, um, I would sear them, because they kind of look a little... Ugh. So throw them in the pan, sear them up, you know, that sort. Um, still having back issues. Um, doing the wiring overhead and being on the ladder and stuff didn't help out all that great. It's, it's not bad. It's just achy. And it takes it out of me. Um, so hopefully that, that heals up and gets moving good. Um, big news on the homestead. As I've said before, I have another podcast I do, which is called Lunator. Yeah, Lunator. Um, it's my name, and I can't even say it right. Um, Lunatars, Legends, Lore, and Lies. And it's available where you get pretty much all podcasts. And I did get a book around. Um, I want to discuss that a little bit with ever since COVID. And I'm not just blaming that. Um, I have lost a lot of my focus. Um, it's hard for me to read books. It's hard for me to focus on certain things. And so this book's kind of been in the works for a while. I actually started it before I started the podcast. But um, I actually started the stories. I still have quite a few stories that are in process. But uh, I did find a way where I can focus a little bit better. And that's by playing music. Like just instrumental music. Um, a lot of... Um, I like to use actually a lot of Viking, tavern type music, that sort, or just the sounds of nature, um, white noise, whatever that, I don't know, it does something that makes it so I can focus a little bit better. But it made it so that to me the stories didn't seem up to what I wanted them. So I've been messing with them, tweaking them, changing them, um, and I got it to where I just went, okay, 
let's let's just release it. So I'm hoping the book's good. I'm hoping people like it. Um, hopefully the focus was there so you can get the stories. And it's just short stories. I actually have the book here with me right now, kind of. Um, I ordered a proof. And this has the old cover on it. Um, but you couldn't really see the print very good. So I switched up to just a black cover. Um, and it is actually the hardback, or the soft paperback, softback. The paperback book is available. It's on Amazon. Um, it has 150 pages in it. Um, that's all the pages, including that. There's some artwork in it for each of the stories. Um, so it is available paperback and Kindle. You can even get it on Kindle Unlimited. Um, it does have 11 short stories in it. Um, 10 of them are from the actual season one of the podcast, um, which is, again, Lunatar's Legend, Lore, and Lies. That's Legends, Lore, and Lies. Um, and the last one is one that I did that just kind of sums up some of the things that you see reoccurring in the in the stories. But let me just tell you, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome to sit here and hold a book that looks like a book. You know, it's, it's got, I mean, it, it looks like a book you would go get somewhere and hold it in my hand and have it have my name on it as the author. It's just awesome. So I won't dig into that too much. Like I said, it is available. I'll put a link in the show notes for this to it on Amazon. No pressure to get it there. And if people want signed copies, I will probably get some author's um, selection. In other words, I can order them at cost, ship to me, and then I'll sign them. And we could send those out too. Um, but yay, you know, it's something that's it's moving forward in my plans, right? I said you need side hustles in that. Side hustles? It's been a long day. My back's bothering me, like I said. So I'm a little tired. Squeaky chair because I'm going to readjust. Um, it is 1030. Uh, sorry, 1029. March 31st. Um, so yeah, the side hustle is to help get things going so I can get where I want to be. And I'm already working on another book. So feedback would be great. You know, Tell me what you think. And be brutally honest. I mean, what I could do to make it better. But I'm working on a season two book. Because we have been doing the season two podcast. And like I said, it doesn't have all the stories in it. I will take a certain selection of them and do the stories for those. Um, but that's something that's neat. It'll help me get going where I want to go. Oh, no, it's a reminder. It's time to take out trash, which means Alexa should be telling me here any time now. Cancel. Now is Sunday, March 31st, 2024. Oh, well, she told me what now was. Okay, um... I think that's about it for the the homestead update. It's been warm here. Um, so far, it did not rain on Sunday, so we're not going to have, what is it, seven Sundays of rain afterwards? There's a chance in about an hour, but we'll see. I think we're going to make it. Uh, grass is greening up. Everything's growing out there. Um, I have those pallet wood I have to really get uh, working on and get going. I'm going to use those to build the actual chicken coop that goes with the chicken run I bought. Okay, on to the main topic. Okay, before we hit the main topic, another thing is, it has been dry here. I mean, and with sinuses and everything, man, I've been getting nosebleeds, and my one nose side is just itching like crazy. So, if you're there too, I feel you. I am so sorry. Okay, now on to the main topic. Biscuits and gravy. And you're probably like, well, what are you going to talk about? You know, biscuits and gravy. Well, let, let's just look at this. Sometimes, it's hard for me to find the motivation it's hard to look at the upside of things. You know, you feel down, you feel low. You get in that funk. Um, I've been in that funk. And I've been fighting it. I've been fighting it hard. Uh, the, getting the book published, I got that done this weekend. Man, that, that was huge. That's really kind of give me a oomph. But um, I have a friend who bought it right away. Thanks, Scott. And he wants me to sign it and I'll get it signed for him. But I've still been in that funk, you know, and part of it is just trying to find a thing to keep you going, you know, to get you motivated. Like out working outside in that barn, boy, 
once I got going, it went good. And I probably would have got a lot more done if my back hadn't kind of tapped out on me there. But that happens, you know. Sometimes it's physical limitations. It's not just mental limitations that get to you. But I know you're still saying, well, what's that got to do with biscuits and gravy? You know, sometimes you just need biscuits and gravy. You know, something that makes you feel all warm and full inside. And that's what, at least for me, biscuits and gravy do. You eat those and boy, your stomach, if you feel warm, that sticks to your ribs as they say, your belly's full, and you're just ready to go out there and conquer the world. And sometimes we need that for us. Say spiritual. You know, you just need warmth and to feel full. Whether that be with community. You know, I've got a great community on Discord. People I talk to. It's just great. They're, they're very good at backing you up. And giving you the, the harsh words if you need to. Like, get off your butt, get moving. Or the just the, the words that, hey, you got this. There's a couple of people I work with that are like that. They're like, you know... I see you getting this done. When I talk to a couple of them about going to Michigan, they're like, no, it's going to happen. You're going to get there. I know it. I can tell. And one of them, the book, with this book and stuff, you know, I, I just tell her, I said, man, I don't know if I'm going to get this done. And she was like, you got this. You, you, I really, she goes, I'm not kidding. You got it. You're going to get this done. So, you know, sometimes you just need that. You need someone to give you that word of inspiration. The, the, Hey, I got confidence in you. And it fills you up like biscuits and gravy. See, I know you were wondering, how the heck is he talking about biscuits and gravy and filling you up? And what? I think we summed her up good. So, just think. If you're feeling low and you got that funk, you just need to find some biscuits and gravy. Either for your soul, maybe even just to eat. Maybe you're a little low on energy. Maybe your blood sugar's a little low and you need that little kick in the pants. All right. Thanks for joining me. This one's a little bit shorter, but I want to thank you. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you have a great, I thought, well, I hope you had a great Easter, you know, no matter how you celebrate it. If you celebrate the Christian holiday, if you just celebrate family and to being together, that's great too. All right. So I hope to see you on the next one. And remember, stay alive out there and keep on surviving.